Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, I'm just going to come straight out with this, no messing about. Uh, people keep saying to me that uh, Tim Witherspoon's this great boxing guy and all this and that and blah de blah and he's a bit of a character but uh, Dennis is the one that fetched him over to uh, England and he's still here. He works at a golf course, he lives, lives at this golf course, he's like a meet and greeter and two time heavyweight champion of the world and that's how it's ended up for him but he's not behind the door if you know what I mean but I could tell you a few funny stories about Tim Witherspoon actually. Clinton Woods uh, had a world title win and uh, some of the chaps were in the toilets having a snort and uh, <laughs> He nearly got his neck wrong this day. Tim Witherspoon comes into the toilets. This is at Hilton. With that big booming laugh like Frank Bruno. As a pee, washes his hands. And the chaps at the time have put the cocaine onto the windowsill and they're having a snore. I'm not going to say we were. Tim Witherspoon goes over, washes his hands and goes up to the dryer. Dries them. Turns the dryer, points it at the windowsill, blows the coke all over. This is like 3 o'clock in the morning and there's no about it. After that bit that he blew away, he nearly ended up shot. That's a true story. Well, like I've just said, he's not behind the door, but it's just a funny, it's a funny tale, isn't it, for, for somebody whose autobiography will be out next year. But he trained uh, Clinton Woods, I think, for a while. Uh, I think his son's a fighter as well, Charles. But I admire him for taking Don King on, but. What I dislike about Tim Witherspoon is, and he's admitted this to the chosen few in Sheffield, and it's in his book, he threw the fight against James Bond Crusher Smith in round one, and obviously, you know, there were betting involved and all sorts, and I ain't got time for people like that, because although boxing's rooted in people, I'm not going to say corrupt, but people cutting corners and making rules up as they go along, that to me is the ultimate cardinal sin. So I've got no, I don't respect people who throw fights. There's people, I'm not going to mention anybody's name, but there's certain people that have done it in the UK. I'm not going to say an area. And I know about it, and certain people know. And I don't have respect for people that throw a fight. So. But it is what it is. He came back to one of the heavyweight world title. Should he have been allowed to do that? No. When he threw that fight, should he have been arrested? It's not for me to say, but he should have been thrown out of the sport. That to me is worse than, uh, or as bad as performance enhancing drugs. But, you know, and couple that with the fact that he owes Dennis Hobson's late father £50,000 and nobody's seen him since. Uh, people like that, they come into the sport, they take liberties and they come out. Now, they come into the sport with good intentions. I mean, he started off as Ali's sparring partner. He was robbed against Larry Holmes. But when they come out of the sport, they look to ponce their way through it. And that's what he did. And he's a liberty taker and I have no time for him. For the reasons that I've just said there. But uh, and he, he took an hammer in against Frank Bruno, didn't he? But he pulled through and beat Bruno, didn't he? But I've got no respect for him as a as a person, I was a boxer, but not as a person or a human being because like I said, I love boxing don't I, and if people are going to throw fights and con the public just to get out of a contract with Don King, well, that's helmet behaviour or weapon behaviour, whatever you want to call it, and if you didn't throw that fight, why come out and say that you did? Why? Why say that? Because you're just disrespecting the sport. So Tim Witherspoon, if you've got a problem, give me a ring on my new uh, Sony Xperia. Give me a ring and uh, we can talk about it. Oh, you're welcome to come here, Tim. I've got some questions for you. All right, if you've got a problem, come on the channel. Anybody who's got a problem, come on the channel. Pick up the phone. Let's see what you've got to say. All right, so peace out.